Hey, thanks for watching. What I'm showing today is solo mining on Ravencoin. And um, basically I was playing around on testnet and mining some blocks, um, just solo mining to the QT wallet. So I decided to try it on mainnet and sure enough, um, it works pretty good. I was able to find a block, uh, it took a little while, but um, I was able to find a block, get the full block rewards. And this is without using a mining pool. So it was kind of nice because it was kind of like, um, very decentralized you know no pool just me mining myself and finding the block so i thought that was kind of cool so i thought i'd show a little video of it here um this setup's going to be a little bit different so what i'm trying to do here is i'm going to go ahead and i'm setting up this computer to run the qt wallet and i want other computers in the household to mine to this wallet so kind of just kind of show how i'm doing that so you can see here i'm opening up and you can see that I have on this QT wallet, I mean, it's fully synced and I have connections incoming and outgoing. And so the goal here is to set up the miner to where I can mine on this PC and other PCs in the house can also mine to this PC as well. I found before I could mine to the QT wallet, you have to basically um, set up the configuration file so it will um, allow you to mine. So th there's a couple articles on it. Um, I think there was a great one in a medium article on it if you can find that one that's pretty recent but basically you have to go into this configuration file and just go ahead and open it up and here's kind of the settings i have you know i have um you had to set server equals one to be able to mine um the mining address of course this is the address i'm mining to and i found out that it doesn't have to be on the qt wallet itself um i ended up mining my first block to one that was kind of a, a separate cold storage address I had and you know I had it view only on my QT wallet but um it worked fine so anyways um the RPC user uh, the RPC password of course I'll change this I just set it to Ravenstar for right now and these two IP addresses you see the 127001 that's your, kind of your home address so if I'm just mining to this PC which is you know kind of what I was doing before was mining to my my single PC, I just had that 127001. Um, in this case, you see that second address I have, which is the address of another computer on my network that's going to mine to this wallet. So I had to allow that IP address in. So, and it is seemed to be mining fine with that. And then I just have the RPC port on here. And um, so it's was pretty simple setups. Now, opening up TT Miner, this is my startup script for running the miner. And just kind of to show you what I had here, um, you know, I'm just kind of have the coin, Raven coin. Um, I have it the dash luck, so it will show me the luck. Um, I want it to log stuff. And here you can see I have my username and my user password. So the RPC user is user and the password is Ravenstar here. And um, this is for mining on this PC itself. So I have the IP address as 127001 and the port number. And then I have it listing devices because I have two two video cards on this computer. So so for mining on the computer itself, all I had to do was do this 127001, and I didn't need that second IP address allowed in. And and that brings up another whole thing. Um, I guess transferring these RPC commands, that, that user and password, I guess, is not going to be encrypted. So um, I feel fine with that on my local network, but everybody has to do what they feel safe with. So some people, I think, would probably be against that. Um, but I'm just kind of goofing around. And, of course, I'm mining to a wallet that doesn't have any money in it so or any raven coins so so basically i'm not too worried if, if somebody got that password it's not gonna be the, the end of the world for me so next um let me just kind of show you the miner real quick uh when the miner is running here let me get it it's in the background here you can kind of see it i have two video cards going and on this pc and you see gpu zero and one um just for reference, I guess the GPU zero, that's a RTX 3050, and that's kind of, uh, you know, it's really low hash rate right now. It gets a lot better than that. And basically it's just because I'm recording this video and everything at the same time. So that's using a lot of the hash rate. But when I stop, it usually gets a lot better, um, probably around, you know, 11 or 12. And the one that's getting about 8 and 8.8 .8 or something, that's, that's a GTX 1060. So I just got two video cards on this. So I'm kind of goofing around. And this is mining directly to this QT wallet on this PC. So, okay, here is my second PC. And this is a PC that I want to mine to the QT wallet on PC number one. So basically you can see here, this I'm running TT miner again on this one. And I'll show you the config in a second. But um, this one gets a better hash rate. And this is the actual PC that I did solve a block with. And 
Of course, when I was doing that, I was running the Qt wallet on this PC with just, you know, the TT miner running on it altogether. But now I want to run multiple PCs to that um, one Qt wallet. So let me open up my mining program and here I will go ahead and show you what this config file looks like. And again, I, I do recommend running this on testnet. Um, it, you know, if you're going to play around, you might as well try it on testnet first and verify that everything's working. And, and I did that. And, you know, I'm hoping there's no issues in what I'm showing here, but I, I have a feeling it should work because I really didn't change much from what I was originally doing. So here you can see I kind of changed the IP address. So now I'm pointing this to the IP address of the computer with the Qt wallet. So that's at uh, 1.3. So. So basically, and I did take this IP address and I'm allowing it in on that other computer. So basically, you know, it, it's functioning fine. If, if I did remove that, you'd see that when I try to run it, the miner couldn't find the QT wallet and stuff. Um, but as I'm showing this, I'm kind of realizing I probably should show just doing it on testnet because that's probably useful for everybody to try. Um, just so you can mine those blocks and you can kind of see how it's working. You can verify your functionality, which is what I did first. And I, I, I kind of like that. So maybe I'll post a video on that next. Um, that's probably a good idea. I guess in hindsight, I probably should have done it on this, but I don't have any of the video ready. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you appreciate it. Again, this is just kind of for entertainment purposes only. And, you know, if you're trying to learn about Ravencoin, I mean, there's a lot of resources out there. And I highly recommend checking them out. Um, you know, you can always go to ravencoin.org or hit up anybody on the discord channel they're super nice and i hope hope you guys enjoyed the video and again go ahead and uh if you like it give it a like um subscribes are awesome small channel so appreciate that and thanks and everybody have a good uh rest of your day